Hello, this is Evangelist Dr. Robert L. McKim Sr. from Carrollton, Ohio. Well, first off, let me read to you 2 Timothy 3. I know a lot of you people don't like me reading this, but I don't care. I'm not here to please you. I'm here to please God and Christ and the Holy Spirit, not you. 2 Timothy 3. Uh, perilous time and perilous men. But know this, that in the last days perilous times will come, for men will be lovers of themselves, lovers of money, boasters, proud, blasphemers, disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy, unloving, unforgiving. Hang on a second. Got to turn the page just right here. And, um, let's see, slanders, without self-control, brutal, despisers of good, traitors, headstrong, hardy, lovers of pleasure, rather than lovers of God, having a form of godliness, but denying his power, and from such people, turn away. And then, of course, down here, as I've already many, said many times, but evil men and imposters will grow worse and worse, deceiving and being deceived. But you must continue in the things which you have learned and been assured of, knowing from whom you have learned them, and from the childhood you have known the holy scriptures which are able to make you wise for salvation through faith which is in Christ Jesus all scripture is given by inspiration of God and is in is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction and in righteousness, that the man of God may be complete, thoroughly equipped for every good work. And uh, anyhow, I wanted to talk also about how some people on uh, the internet that follow me have been getting things misconstrued. Uh, every time I make a video, they they think I'm saying something that I'm not saying, or they're actually putting their own twist and their in own interpretation into what I'm saying. I wanted to show you something. Okay, here is the faucet that, as I know, I showed you the box, but I'm going to actually show you the faucet. So here's the faucet that the uh, my pastor, my, my current pastor of the current church that I attend, his son, who works currently right now for a plumbing company, uh, had installed for me. And here is, of course, under my sink. <coughs> Get down here. See? You know, got the two pipes going to the double sink, the gooseneck going down into that black pipe. That black pipe, that black pipe right there, is what goes underneath my house trailer. Now, see that 
white thing right there at the end of the black pipe. See, you get those and then you glue those onto the pipe. Okay. Am I am I am I making some sense right now? Yet. I want to go out here because see, I saved my old pipe that I took off back in 2012, actually. In the summer of 2012 was when I replaced the pipe. <sighs> see, a lot of you people don't understand. Okay, for one thing, <sighs> go ask a plumber, talk to a plumber, if you don't want to believe me. Cause I've talked to plumbers about this whole situation, and a lot of, people, a lot of plumbers have said no. The, the commercial the commercial drainos or or liquid plumber really is diluted down it's diluted down it's not really all that strong to eat away at your pipes especially PVC pipe they don't eat away at PVC pipe so if you want to say that if you want to go on the internet and say something without actually researching it, talking to the right people before you go on the internet and say something, goes to show really what you are. Now you want to say that this pipe here that I showed you is cleanly cut off. No, that is a special piece that's glued on there. They're glued on there, okay? They're glued on with special PVC glue. That's not clean cut. That's made like that. Made like that. It's a special coupling, basically, that you glue two pieces of pipe together. That's why that looks like that. Here is my old pipe that I still have right here that we cut off. We had to cut that off in order to, you know, get it removed from underneath my trailer. And as you can see, how long that is. That ran from the front of my trailer all the way back, including that little piece of pipe right there. That we had, that I had to replace in uh, the summer of uh, 2012 because the what happened was when. Mr. Rooter Company was here and they were running the snake down the drain that loosened up that piece of pipe right there and that's what caused it to fall not liquid not liquid Drano or liquid plumber them using the uh, snake so you know, you can say whatever you want to say. Again, it's never the truth. That's the problem. I'm telling you the truth of what actually happened. You wasn't here. You didn't know what happened. But yet, you want to misconstrue, misconstrued what I'm always saying, what I'm going on the internet and saying. Go and ask a plumber. Talk to a plumber before you go on the internet and 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 say things 
And then also you want to constantly say that I'm dumping grease down my drain. And I'm always I'm always dumping <coughs> grease down my drain. I'm not dumping grease down my drain. You see, for one thing, the bacon grease goes on the paper towel. Okay? The paper towel. I throw the paper towel away, and there's usually a little film on the plate when I take off the paper towel. I do that for a lot of my meats. When I'm sausage or bacon. And the majority of my other meats I put in the oven. I put on a pan like this. And but before I put anything on the pan, I use non-stick aluminum foil. Then I take and I throw away the aluminum foil. So don't go on the internet and, and spew your lies like you do. Because you think you have the right to do that. For instance, I have a couple of plates here. That has a little bit of film on the plates. And that's all that goes down my sink. Not uh, a whole bunch of grease. And I use Dawn dishwashing soap, which is supposed to cut the grease. But then again, you know, was what really cuts grease anymore? And actually, it's not really even grease. It's oil, cooking oil. Uh, uh, cooking oil blends. Crisco blends, which is a blend of granola, sunflower, and soybean oils. That's what I like to get. Because it's more healthier than just straight granola, straight corn oil, straight vegetable oil. Well, that oil has more trans fats than that oil there does. So there again, see, I'm trying to stay away from a lot of fatty foods. And keeping the fat away from my body and away from my dishes. But yet... But yet, you people who hate me, hate me because you think I'm 400 pounds, which I am not 400 pounds. Get that straight. I'm only around 200 pounds. I know some people think I'm still too much, but you know what? You are you and I am me. If you don't like how I am, I don't care. God made me the way he made me. He made my, you know, metabolism the way he made my metabolism. He made your metabolism the way he made your metabolism. And now, yeah, there's some people who say, well, you're just lazy. There's nothing wrong with you because we can't see it. We can't see it with our own two eyes, then there's nothing wrong with you. Again, always, again, always, constantly, constantly, thinking with your carnal mind and your carnal heart and not your, your godly wisdom. That's the whole problem with this country. You people go on the internet and you don't really think before you go on the internet, what? What would God want me to do? Would God want me to go on the internet and put one of his servants down? 
because I don't agree with him? No. That's the whole problem right there in a nutshell that I'm trying to get across to a lot of you people. You lack, you lack godly and Christ-like love. Christ concentrated to teach his disciples. And lots of times they didn't get it either. Because again, they were thinking with a carnal mindset. Worldly mindset. What this country needs is more godly wisdom, godly love, Christ-like love, not worldly love, not worldly mindset, but godly mindset. That's why I'm constantly trying to get across to you. But again, you want to constantly misconstrue what I'm saying. Back in 2011, when I had that incident, that, that, that midnight did not, did not show godly love or godly wisdom or godly or, or, or Christ-like love. He was thinking more with his carnal mind and, you know, thinking, uh, you know, my, the mighty old dollar is his God, really, when it comes right down to it. That's what a lot of business people think. It's more about the mighty old dollar instead of the mighty old God and what he wants. This time around, I'm trying to tell you that my pastor's son, my pastor and his son both came. Okay? My pastor's son works for a plumber. And he got my, my drain open. And replaced my, uh, my faucet with the faucet that I bought and paid for. We asked him, how much would this have cost me if, you know, I had to pay for it? Well, it would have been 200 and something for the, the uh, hydro flush and another $200 to replace my own faucet. So it would have been over $400, give or take. But see, in 2011, the other company wanted over $400 just to do the hydro flush. Either the price came down or it's the difference in the companies too. Mr. Reuter, I'm sorry, I think like to rip likes to rip people off. because they're thinking more with the carnal mindset that the mighty old dollar talks more than God talks. A lot of people, and, and when I was talking about prayer, you know what? Yes, I pray every single day that God blesses me. And that's what's been happening. God has been blessing me. Well, things and, and people to come my way to help me out. Because I don't make money like you think I should be making. Tell me, tell me, what other than what's his name that died, what other person do you know that's disabled in a wheelchair or walks with a cane or a walker or doesn't even use a, me a, 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 a medical assistive device that lives in pain, constant pain, day in and day out. That can hold a full-time job making $15, $20 or so an hour. Tell me, 
Do you know somebody like that? Probably not. And if you say you do, talk to them. Ask them. If they work full time. They probably don't. They probably only work part time. And the rest of the money comes from Social Security. Believe me. I know. I worked as a school bus driver for the developmental disabilities in Tuscarawas County. I know how people were treated. And then later on down the road, I worked at a group home. And I actually, before I started driving school bus, I worked at a group home. I left that place because of how I was being treated and how they were treating the people in that house. Why should I be subjected to the treatment the way they were treating the people in that house? You know, something has to give sooner or later. So I left there and went, drove school bus for five years. I was never fired, no, I was never fired. They didn't come to me and say, you're fired, or gave me paperwork saying, we, uh, you know, you're fired or whatever. No, that isn't how it worked. I was a sub anyhow, a sub bus driver. I wasn't a full-time bus driver, I was a sub. So basically everything depended on, you know, what I wanted to do. Of course, it also depended on what other people thought I should have done too back then too as well. Everybody always thinks what I should do instead of who cares what God's telling me to do. If God is talking to somebody, then he's a nut. Because God doesn't talk to people, because a lot of so-called educated people doesn't even believe in a God. And the ones that do believe, that are educated and do, believes in a God, doesn't believe in the God of miracles. Doesn't believe in a God that is a righteous God and a just God and does hand out judgments on people and the earth. Otherwise, he needs to apologize to Sodom and Gomorrah and he needs to apologize to the whole world for the flood. But God's not going to apologize for what people are doing. It's the heart. The heart of hearts that's the problem with this world. And th thinking with the carnal mind and the carnal heart constantly thinking with those things is to open God's word first and say he's right instead you always want to say how wrong I am I'm not saying I'm better and I'm right 24-7 but I know I'm right in this. Because I know what's happened throughout my life. I've learned from things. A lot of you are not old enough to even to learn what I had to learn. Sometimes the hard way. But yet you think you do know everything and even more than me. because of 
situations you've been through, but still not the same. Everybody's situation is different. There's a thing called empathy. Empathy is when you've been through the same situation somebody else is going through and you can relate to them. Sympathy is when you, you know, you just, you know, you feel what you just, you know, feel sorry for somebody. Empathy is when you actually went through the same situation. Now, granted, I haven't went through heart problems, but my mother had. And my mother had open heart surgery twice. My mother later passed away of aplastic anemia when she was only 65 years old. And see, I never heard of that until then. Until I, and then I researched it and found, you know, researched it and found out what it was. And the problem is, people, until you actually talk to somebody, research something the right way, you will never know godly wisdom. You will only know the wisdom that the world is telling you. The world is not right. Only God is right. His word is right. Till you get into His word and read His word and understand His word, then you can be right. Because His word, what I just read, makes you righteous. Not not man's ways. All these mass killings is because people are thinking more and more about political stuff and worldly stuff. And they, I'm sorry, the left, the far left, hates people like me and wants to shut people like me up. I, mean, I, I saw something so disturbing too here on the internet. A movie coming out. A movie coming out that's going to be coming out in September where the left elite are kidnapping conservatives in order to hunt them down like animals. God have mercy on their on, on whoever came up with this movie's soul. Again, somebody is, is, is made a movie that's going to come out, and it's going to entice somebody else to to do either the same thing or go out and kill, try to kill uh, conservatives. When is it going to stop? I'm sorry, that movie does not need to go on to go out to the theaters. It needs to stop. And I recommend nobody go and watch that movie because all it is is just about killing. Kidnapping people and killing them. Isn't this what we are trying to prevent? Hatred? But yet, a movie's coming out to to uh, lift up and inspire hatred. God have mercy on their souls. That's all I gotta say. Cause I'm praying every day. God have mercy on this country. God have mercy on this country. God have mercy on our leaders. Cause a lot of them needs it. Because prayer does work. 
has worked in my life many, many times. Yeah, some people, oh yeah, we need more action, we need more action. Yeah, we need more people that loves one another, that will get out and help one another when they're in need. Like what I saw about the woman, it was another state that couldn't take care of her yard because her husband lost his job, her son has uh, leukemia, and she has other children in the house. She received a, a hateful note in the mail, and she, when she put it out on social media, then people start coming to help her. That is godly love. That is Christ-like love. Think about what I'm really saying here. Instead of misconstruing what I'm saying. God bless you. Have a blessed day.